this segment, we're going to talk about the simple groove feature. So I'm starting out here with a piece of stock. It's two inches wide by five inches long. And I'm going to create a curve of just some text so we can take a look at the simple groove feature. So I'm going to go to curves, other methods, text, next. And I'm just going to type in this word test. It's going to create a curve with a name. Do a little preview here. And I'm going to go ahead and take these letters and move them over in the X and up in the Y. Do a little preview. And if we want to space them out a little bit, maybe let's put a hundred thousands here and say finish. Even though there's four letters here, this is all one curve. As you can see, if I select it down here, it's curve two. So the method I'm going to use is I always select first, features. Because I went ahead and selected first, feature cam tries to figure out what type of feature it is, and it chose groove, which is correct. Next, there's the curve because we pre-selected it. Next, I drew the curve at Z0, and the top of the part's at Z0, so we don't need the offset the curve at all. Next, here's the depth that I'm going to go, 20 thousandths, and the width. But what's important here is when simple is checked, Feature Cam is going to go get a tool that is this diameter and make a single pass. There might be multiple passes in the Z, but a single pass as far as XY is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and say finish. And it creates a slot. Here's my 625 wide. If we go ahead and highlight the slot, the operation, and take a look at the tool page, you notice that it's a 1 16th end mill. So if we open this feature back up, and I'm going to double click it over here and change this to 0.125, apply. You'll notice the graphics updates. But more importantly, you'll notice that the tool is now a 1 8 inch end mill. So let's take a look at one other thing that's going to happen by default. If I single step in the center line mode, the 125 mm comes out, comes down. So let's just talk a little bit about the process. It came to one inch first. Now it's sitting at 100 thousandths above. Go to front view. And I'm going to single step again. And notice it wraps down. And this default value is 10 thousandths. So whenever ramp is on, which is the default, feature cam wants to get the tool a little bit closer to the part before it starts ramping. So let me continue to single step. There's a move. That is a five degree ramp that is 125 thousandths long. Then it's gonna come back and work its way till it gets to depth. And then it's gonna take off. If we want it to just plunge straight in, I'm going to go back and open up the feature. I click on the operation, go to the plunge tab, and set the minimum ramp angle to zero, apply. And if we do a quick preview, the tool wrap is over one inch above the part, 100 thousandths above the part, and then feeds to depth and then goes. Let's eject that and go back to the dimensions tab. So again, when simple is checked, feature cam will get the tool of this size and make a single pass around. So let's really quickly make this a quarter inch. Apply. You can see how some of the paths crossed over. So let's just go 0.1875 apply all right and again it's going to be a 3 16 end mill if we go to the tool tab if we go back to the dimensions and uncheck simple a couple things happen 
I'm going to hit apply and watch what happens right here where it says slot. It's now going to say rough and finish. So it really looks as at these letters in this example as though they're a pocket that is 187 wide and it's going to rough it, leave in a default finish allowance and then make a finish pass. And if we take a look at the tool, notice in this case it's a 156 end mill. There's a reason for that that we get in in another video. But my point is that it's going to now make a roughing pass around, leaving a finish allowance, and then it's going to finish it with the finish. If we go back to the dimensions and turn simple on, apply, this goes back to the operation is now called slot, and it grabs a tool that is this wide.